Theatre Arts is a club that um, started before I was here at Highland Park. I believe it started with Helen Hardigan. And it meets every Tuesday after school, and the goal is to create a musical for fourth and fifth graders. And they do various things with theater arts, you know, actual performances, uh, stage crew, set design. Each year we start in October and we go all the way through to May when we present it to the school and to the families. Theater arts is kind of like a passion. So when you audition, and kind of step up, you are looking for a role and you're looking for to be a part of it and have fun and um, develop your singing and acting. When I found out about theater arts, I tried out, it was really fun. I wasn't nervous or anything. I was kind of nervous because I wasn't that good of an actor, but Miss Clary helped a lot. I was actually really excited when I got to be in Willy Wonka. The first couple months were like singing and working on your like vocal cords. And we would go over songs and everything and lines and stuff. And it was really fun and really entertaining. There's such an excitement with theater arts. They, the kids, it's a lot of hard work and they work really hard, but the end product is, it's totally worth it. I like being in the presence of everything. So I like when everyone was singing and everyone was having fun and um, when we were in the building and the gym and we were like practicing, I really wanted our costumes and um, unfortunately we didn't get them. Obviously in March, we found out that we weren't gonna be in person for a little, we didn't know how long. I was worried a lot that we would lose off track and like, I don't know how our voices would be after and if we remembered the same steps. They were hoping to be able to do a virtual performance, but unfortunately with the restrictions of the state, the stay at home, they couldn't even get together to do the whole show virtually. I was so mad and upset, it was just like, Come on. I didn't know what to do with that situation, so I just said, you know, do you, and I asked their parents, I sent an email saying, do you feel comfortable recording yourself? Here's the track, here's the music, you know it. I was really excited because we had practiced for so long and I knew a lot of the kids practiced hard. They were really excited just to share what they had worked towards. And it was unbelievable what I got back. I got to be the candy man and my mom bought like all these treats and candies for me to use and she got Hershey bars and she put wrapping over them to make them Wonka bars and afterwards me and my little sister we got to eat the Wonka bars. I was happy that I got to actually perform something. It was like this part in my song where I had to scream and my mom was behind the camera and she was like okay how we go up up up. And my dad, he was downstairs. He was just over it. He didn't want to hear my screaming. And I had to scream over and over again to get it right. And my dad was just like, oh my God, I'm so done with these girls. They did that and they sent it to me and I put together a little bit of something to showcase them and all their hard work. I think me and my mom watched it and we were like, oh my gosh, this is so good. My mom and my sisters watched it over and over again. I got a lot of nice things and people said I did good and stuff and I was really happy and proud of myself. Everyone was so happy to see it and see the performance. I mean, last spring was so, it was just, it was hard for everybody and I think just to have that little bit, it was almost like a hope, some little bit of hope. It kind of made our days, you know what I mean? Like, it made our day seeing someone that was happy and participating. You get to express your feelings and sing and get to get in character. It just helps your confidence. Kids that don't talk much or do stuff like that, it helps them come out of their shell. They might not be someone who wants to be up in the center of the stage dancing and singing by themselves, but they can't wait to open the curtain, to use the spotlight, to help move set and scenery and props. So it reaches other students too, um, students that you might not necessarily think would be interested. It brings a lot of positivity around the world of Highland Park. You're just happy that you're part of it. I don't know what this year holds with theater arts. I know that we will continue with it, whether it be virtual or we get to at some point be in person. I really hope that everything goes well and that we can go back and we are, can see our friends and people we don't 
even know that we're in theater arts to make more friends maybe i hope like since this is our last year we can just look back and say oh wow we just had so much fun memories in theater arts Thank you.